Hello Gemini, welcome to your weekly reading. This is July 3rd through 9th, hope you're amazing. So we are going to get right in, see what we got for you, Gemini. Okay, so we're starting off. Expectation, concern, despair, unexpected income, thief and house. Sun, dark woman, hammock, weeping willow, big, tower in April. Okay. The first thing I'm seeing is something that has to do with your home, Gemini. Um, something that happened in April. This is a past energy. This is like in April or close somewhere around April or somewhere around the beginning of the spring, I believe that is. Um, you like did something new to your home, moved into a home, did something big when it comes to your living situation. Um, I feel like you're finding something out about the person who sold you the home or about the home. Like maybe there's back taxes or something. It's like where you thought that things were fine with your home and that th they're not. But we'll get into that. Um... I feel like you've been seeking some kind of help or doing something to better your life, okay? And you, you're feeling really good this week about the choices and decisions that you have made. Um, there's a woman in your life, possibly with dark hair or darker complexion, um, that you're thinking about. Why are you worried about this person? Oh, it's interesting. Um, I feel like you had you thought something negative about this person at first. And the more that you are in a better space mentally, um, you're starting to see more of a truth about this particular woman. Um Yeah, it's very interesting because I feel like there's someone around you who is like full of despair or kind of like a victim. Um, and you're, you're distancing yourself more and more from this person. You may have blamed the situation on someone before. And now you're not. Um, I also see in this person may have told you something or showed you something and you were like, no, but now you're starting to see it. Very interesting, Gemini. This is all over the place. Um, be careful of money situations that have to do with family. Um, someone is very greedy when it comes to money. Um, or they're upset about someone in your family having money or not having money. It's family issues and money. Okay. And being upset that they can't get enough or that, um, they feel like maybe you have taken the money or something like that. It's very, it's a lot of like complication for no reason is what I'm seeing and I'm seeing that you Gemini are walking away from things like you're like nah, this is too much nothing adds up the math isn't mathing you know <laughs> that's what I get you doing 
And you may, yeah, this person may have taken something from your home as well. So be careful of that. But I don't, I don't know. This looks like a, a hot mess. I'm going to be honest with you. But it all seems like it's surrounding money. Okay. Magician, Ace of Coins. And the Fool. Hmm. I'm going to just pull them all out, actually. Seven of Coins. Three of Spears. Two of Coins. The Chariot. The King of Coins. And the Three of Coins. Yeah, you've decided to take some control over your life. Um, your finances, your stability, uh, how you go about things. I feel like you have this idea of you want to nurture the kind of life that you want to have. And you're following that, Gemini, is what I'm saying. Okay? Um, and a lot of this is about taking risks and looking at things from different perspectives and not just listening to someone else's interpretation because it may be manipulative, you know, to fit their own narrative. And I feel like that's changing a lot for you. And I feel like for some of you, it's surrounding a woman with dark hair or a dark skinned woman. Um, Yeah, it's like you're seeing something about them truthfully. So now that you've opened your eyes up to... I feel like your eyes are just open. I don't... To the potential of what is, you know, and not just someone else's narrative or an old narrative. Um... Yeah, because you're, you're like really into, you found yourself intertwined in someone else's sort of um, spider web of falsification, okay? Lies and deceit or whatever it is. You got yourself kind of tied up in there because you care about a person or because you love them. But you are like, I don't want to invest my time and energy to something that's not going to help in the future. Like... It's like when you have a friend that's woe is me everything, you know, like, oh my God, this person hurt my feelings. Oh my God. But they're not moving on from it. They just keep saying like, I can't trust people because this person hurt me three years ago. And you're like, what? You know? <laughs> um, so I feel like um, you're starting to see that or that someone is using other excuses for why they can't do better or why they can't be better. They're blaming other people and other situations. Um, and I feel like you're, it's not like you're taking yourself out of the situation. You're rebalancing everything. So you're not always taking their side or you're not always giving them advice or getting involved. You're more like, how can I say this, Gemini? You're teaching yourself better boundaries when it comes to this individual. Because you're seeing like it's needed. It's needed with this person. Okay? Um, and they always want your attention. It's like more, more, more. I need I need you to believe me. I need this. More, more, more. Woe is me. You know, like it, there's a lot of that going on. There's a lot of that going on. Let me see something here. Yeah, it's an addiction. You have peels and red hot chili pepper. It's an addiction of this person, okay, to always be right, to always have people on their side. They'll do what they have to do to make that happen for themselves. Um, so, yeah, I feel like everything you thought you knew or everything that someone has told you, you're seeing that is not 
true. Um, and this may have something to do with your home, but I feel like it has something to do with your security or family because that's also included in home. Um, it start. I feel like you need to start in April. So from April on, like what's true and what's not true, maybe even before then, but April is where I see it kind of like getting weird. Um, yeah, it's like you were really gung-ho about what somebody was telling you and you believed it. But the more that you're looking at the way they live their life and the way their actions are, you're like, wait, what? Yeah, because I see you. That's what's so interesting is I see you like trying to be on their team. But realistically, you know, like we can work together. But we have to work together. We have to have compromise. We have to believe the same things. Yeah. You're definitely listening to your intuition when it comes to things now. And not just listening to either other people's opinion. Or what you feel like you should, should do. I feel like you got burnt, Gemini. And um, you're learning your lessons from it. And particularly for some of you, you're learning about an individual in your life that maybe you can't trust okay I don't feel hate I just feel awareness all right so let's see what spirit has for you we have full moon completion yeah you've learned everything yeah dream time creation you've learned everything you need to learn about this situation Gemini with the full moon and it's coming to a close this is closing something out this is like final realizations this is like i understand what's going on i see the i see the bigger picture even though they may be shrouded in some lies and some complications i see as much as i i need to and i know that it needs to some of this needs to stop right and then we have dream time creation this is creating a situation of your dreams right so i feel like this is not getting intertwined in someone else's story and why this you're like nope that doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't feel right to me. My intuition is telling me otherwise. I see this story that you're trying to weave for me, right? But it's just not adding up, you know? That's what I'm getting, okay? Wow, Gemini, I love you. <laughs> I'll see you next week, okay? Bye-bye.